Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to make a nested movie clip like this. Let me show you how it's going to look. This nested movie clip will go, and we'll return back to the home scene. And this is a button with a rollover. So the button controls the direction of the timeline. And then we have some code in the nested movie clip. So the first thing I want you to do is create three layers. Create a layer called buttons. One called actions. And one called movie clips. Okay. In your buttons layer, I just simply want you to make a button using a rectangle and some text. If you'd like to change the size of the text, you can select the text and go down to your properties inspector and put that up to around 25 to make it look a little better. Okay, and now we're just going to highlight both objects using the selection tool and the marquee. Go down and convert to symbol. Uh, we're going to convert it to a button and we're going to call this button one. You could call this button Frank if you want. It, it doesn't matter. We'll call it button one though. All right. So now what we're going to do is um, we're going to go to our library and we're going to create a movie clip. And we're going to call this movie clip one. Okay. Now what we're going to do is create another movie clip within that movie clip. And this one's going to be a nested movie clip. So highlight this, convert to symbol, movie clip, and call this nested movie clip one. Alrighty. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put in a keyframe at 15, insert a keyframe, put in a motion tween between the two frames, and put in rotate, you'll see auto. We're going to put in a CW, that stands for clockwise. And if you scrub your timeline, you'll notice that it rotates. Okay, go back to your main scene. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to frame two here. Highlight all three, right click and insert a keyframe. Okay. Now we want to go to our movie clip in frame two. And make sure you choose MC1, not nested. That's the one inside, MC1. You'll know it's the right one because you'll see a little play button here in the library. And just go ahead and drag it in. All right. And then we're going to go to the movie clips and we're going to go to frame one. And you're going to take your brush tool and you're going to type in home. This is to let the user know that we'd be on the home page. This doesn't look good, but don't worry about that. Doesn't matter. Okay, that's all set up. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to put on our actions for our first button. So go to your actions layer, right click and go to actions. Um, now I'm just going to copy the previous files actions because I don't feel like typing this. And I'll explain what it is. Okay, so I'm in frame one of the actions. So first thing you can do is type in stop. Then MC button one dot add event listener. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to listen for mouse clicks. <clears throat> right here, the mouse event you're listening for is a click. And when you do have a click, you're going to access the play nested function. So in this play nested function, what are we going to do? We're going to go to and stop on the second frame. Okay, so you could go ahead and pause the video and, and uh, type this down. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go inside MC1. So go to your library and double click MC1 and go to frame 15. Go to your right click and go to actions. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in this. Again, what I'm doing is I'm using another file. So don't make any errors. Okay, I'll explain what this is doing in a sec. Okay. So again, you're in frame 15 of your nested movie clip. And you're going to type in this movie clip parent dot go to and play one. What this does, the reason why you have to put all this stuff in at the beginning before go to and play, is that brings you from your nested movie clip back to the main timeline, back to the main scene. And without writing movie clip parent, casting it to parent, you cannot get back from your movie clip to your main scene. So make sure you type that in. Again, you can pause the video and go ahead and do that if you'd like. All right. Um, make sure you go to your actions here. And in the second frame, we're simply going to type in stop. That stops the movie on the second frame because we don't want it going back to the first. All right. And that's all we're going to do. Hit control and enter. Test your movie. You'll notice it has an error. Access of undefined property MC button one. So the way we fix this is click on your button. And in the instance name, MC 
button one. You have to actually name the instance of the button here. This is like naming the symbol. That's, that's basically all it is. So you could access it through a function. If you don't do that, it won't work. Okay, I must have misspelled something. C button one. Hmm. Strange. Just click off, click back on, make sure that worked. Okay. And there you go. It plays the nested movie clip and brings us back to the home scene. Now what you're going to do for the remainder of the exercise is you're going to make two other buttons that do the same thing. So how do you do this? Obviously, you'd have to make button two and button three and then put a, a keyframe in it, frame three and frame four for the other two movie clips and follow the same exact commands. All right.